Good morning everyone. My name is Valeria Pace and I am the president of the Equilibristi HABM Association. First of all, I would like to thank you for the giving me the opportunity to contribute through this video message, despite the distance to this very important meeting. I also would like to thank all who contributed to the rare disease they haven't, was on the 29th of February. The news of being affected uh, by a rare disease made my twin sister Federica and me face a harsh and unexpected reality. When we came back home after having received the diagnosis, we immediately realized that the available information about the, the disease was not enough. We also understood it didn't exist a particular association that could support us in such a difficult period and that would be ready to answer our countless doubts and questions. All the news from abroad and studies about the pathology weren't always neither clear nor in time. What made me think to set up the association was the will to fight the fear. The fear of something that not only would have been invincible, but that would have given me the feeling of losing part of my body. And I mean a rare, a rare degenerative and untreated disease, that is the myopathy. A rare disease without any cure nor uh, therapy is confuses and frightens in itself, but it is the lack of research project in one's own country which adds a really deep sense of abandonment. When Dr. Rodolico, a neurologist of the General Hospital of Messina, told me that the medical trial run by Ultragenics would have recruited Italian patients, I didn't hesitate to contact each person who I had um, the opportunity to, met, to meet, thanks to him, to Teleton and to the association. But soon I realized how the information struggled with circulating, not only among the patients, but also among the doctors. Indeed, some of the latter have been informed about the trial by the patients themselves. I am speaking to you as a patient. Uh, who has met other patients and who knows how much is simple the decision to refuse his own diseased body. Although the refuse and the surrender could be part of our path, as uh, this might be inevitable, in order to avoid that this won't be our last step, we need to teach patients the importance of taking care of their own body, no matter if this body is diseased. First of all, I think it's necessary to supply each uh, patient a physiotherapy suited to their body. This physiotherapy should list all the, all the exercises to practice during each different stage of the condition. If the body changes, the therapy approach has to, be, has to change. It is also very important to discourage any type of self-treatment that have caused more harm than good by planning a punctual follow-up to guarantee a stable periodicity of the visits. Moreover, we have not to underestimate the nutritional education. In Italy, some projects dedicated to the study of the nutritional rule in the neuromuscular disease have been already started. During this year, I have had Dr. Rodolico um, working on my side in a professional, sympathetic, humble and passionate way. He has always been ready to answer my questions without ever denying himself, but not everyone had the same luck. At the moment I am being monitored by a private physiotherapist who has understood the importance of learning with me how to deal with the consequences of an almost unknown disease. Thanks to her I have spent these last five years by focusing myself on finding solution to every obst obstacle my body could run into, such as, such as a too high step, an unexpected loss of balance and a badly paved road. Through a specially created path, I have been training my reflexes and I learned how to use the working stick and the working tutors. 
in order to fully benefit from them, thus keeping my autonomy as long as possible, even in other situations. I have the strength to admit to myself that what was lim limiting my body was my mind and not my disease. I have chosen a, a psychological support not because I was weak, but because my life put me in front of something awful which didn't let me love and uh, respect my life. I have chosen a psychological support because I have the right to enjoy the alternatives and keep on loving my body without abandoning it to his fate, refusing medical visits and the physiotherapy. Nobody uh, should be left alone in front of an untreated disease and it's wrong to believe it is necessary to take care of only the physical body. Instead, the, the mind should be treated as well. Especially if we consider that the mind is the only part which is not directed, directly affected by the disease. So let's keep on working together to supply to the patients all the necessary means to face and live life in the best possible way, without any if, without any but. Let's work together to ensure that every patient comes to love life despite everything. I thank those who have given me the possibility to tell you all this. I thank those who believe in my succession and also those who don't believe much in it. I thank the Italian patients who keep on you know, supporting me to never give up and fight for me and for them. Thank you.